slavery. It didn't end in the 1860s. It's a social malady that's with us today, and it's increasing in its scope and virulence. The desire to enslave our fellow man is unfortunately intrinsic to the human character. It has been with us since the beginning of time on every continent and in virtually every culture, from ancient Egypt to Babylon to Greece and Rome, Africa, Asia, Europe, and the United States. Germany and Japan openly practiced widespread slavery only 50 years ago, and the Soviet Union until less than a decade ago, China even today. They say globalization will be a big thing. It will bring about stability. And that's what we're told. But what they don't tell you is that all the instability is being brought about by the very people who want globalization. Globalization is not about bringing stability to the people. It's about enslaving the people and it's about bringing stability to the system of the elite. That's what they want. They want a stable system and we are all just little drone workers within the system. They want the Chinese system all around the world. Chinese are run like robots, folks. They're trained to be robots from birth. If you just look at the way Chinese workers work, the way China works. I mean, the Chinese people, as wonderful as they are individually, they have, to a great extent already, lost their humanity. They have, to a great extent already, lost their humanity. Not within the common sector, but within the business sector and within the government sector, the corporate sector, there's very little love in China is as far as community spirit goes. Everybody is competing against everybody else. Everybody acts like worker drones. And that's what they want. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a message from the International Cosmetics Federation. Thank you all for knowing that you are fat and ugly and that we have all the presents in here, all the expensive cosmetics that will make you skinny and beautiful. You do not look like all the amazing people on television. You are fat and ugly. So spend your money on cosmetics. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I have a project that I'll be announcing soon and I look forward to showing that to the world because it is the most powerful plan yet, in my opinion, to really break this blockade. And at the end of the day, that is number one task. This blockade must end. And it, it really is a matter of when, not if. We're going to break this blockade. So. Really in the middle of a perfect storm with three forces. The kind of trade liberalization po policies the World Bank, IMF and World Trade Organization have pushed which have created the food insecurity in the first place and put food in the hands of speculators in the future commodity markets where the investors are seeking 25% return on food and they are on food commodities, they are only going to get it with food prices. After my second year of college I dropped out realizing that the debt that I was accruing was absolutely not worth it. Even then I knew there was something wrong with going to school, getting a ridiculous amount of debt, eighty to a hundred thousand dollars, and then being thrown into the workforce automatically in a position of indentured servitude, if you will, automatically having to give yourself to the system because you're already in so much debt. This is a time that requires incredible courage on our part. We all, at this point, have to stop thinking about me, about ourselves, and about, am I going to save two dollars on this shirt and help create slavery in Indonesia at sweatshops? Fight. We find it necessary. We know we will win. We have confidence in the victory of good over evil. Fight the real enemy. Bring and fight across the ocean. Another man, man, no stuck again. Bring and fight. Across the ocean, another man, man, and we're stuck again. Sitting down here, fall out of shelter, paint my walls twice a week. Sitting down here, fall out of shelter, think about the slaves. Long time ago, ten million slaves. Across the ocean, they had shackles on their legs. Ten million slaves. Across the ocean, they had shackles on their legs. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they've been. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they've been. Sun goes out, you'll be standing, you'll be standing by yourself. 
Sun goes out, you'll be standing, you'll be standing by yourself. Ten minutes later, cross the ocean, they had shackled on the lake. Ten minutes later, cross the ocean, they had shackled on the lake. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they're been. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they're been. Ten million slaves cross the ocean. They had shackles on their legs. Food was bad, food was rancid, but they ate it in a way. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they've been. Don't know where, where they're going. Don't know where, where they've been. Sun goes out, you'll be standing, you'll be standing all alone. Sun goes out, you'll be standing, you'll be standing. Yeah. 